Hey guys, it's Erica. So for this tutorial, I am going to be making a video on how I turn pants, which I will show you in a bit, into these lovely, very high waisted shorts. So they're like, like they have nice ripped. I'm still not sure if I should stub them here. <clears throat> I keep losing my voice. <clears throat> Anyways, but this is the tutorial on how I cut them and how I rip them up. Keep in mind that this isn't a normal jean material. These are actually kind of like a jegging. They're really stretchy. So a, the effect might be different when you're using actual jean. But I feel that when you use real jean, it, the turnout is better than stretchy jeans. Like this one, it took a lot of washing to get it to fray as much as it did. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. There will be more videos soon. I started filming one today. I'm just filming everything, so you'll see me with the same shirt, same clothes. I got my shoes in. I'm wearing them now. So I'll do a shoe thingamajiggy. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Thanks. First things first, you're going to want to make your pants right up so they do what they normally do when you're going to wear them as shorts. Then you're going to want to draw your lines on where you want to cut them. Make sure you go a bit lower than where you would usually, um, where you would want your pants to be just because they're going to fray, they're going to ride up, and if you cut too short, then you're going to be showing a bit of your lady parts. So that's why I chose to cut mine. I just drew the lines with a marker. Next, you're going to take your scissors and you're going to want to cut along your lines. I always cut, cut the front and back separately just because the back always has to be a bit lower than the front. So first you make a, just a little hole and then cut the front straight across where your um, marker line is. Once you've done the front, you can flip them over. Make sure your line is drawn at the back so you know where you're cutting and your front and, lines, front and line cut meet. So there we go, I'm going to take the pen and I'm just going to make sure the line is outlined and then you're going to cut straight across just like you did for the front, combining the front and the back so that they meet. After you're finished cutting one side, you can flip the shorts and fold them over so that you can measure them and make sure that they're even and when you wear them they won't be lopsided, one side won't be longer than the other, etc. There we go, just flip them over and draw your lines. You can now cut them just like you did for the, to the first side and then try them on to make sure you like them. So this is what my shorts turned into after I cut them. I like the length, there's just a couple things I have to fix, like some sides are longer than the other. So you're just going to take your marker and you're going to draw what parts you want to cut off and what parts you want to keep. After fixing them up, you can start to destroy the ends and make them all frayed. Some people just pull the ends with their fingers, but doing that, that's going to take about 25 years and it takes way too long. I also saw some other girl take tongs. What she did is she pulled the ends of her shorts and that created a bit of the fraying effect for me, but my tongs aren't that sharp, so I don't really like them. However, in my house I found just a little device and what it's used, it uh, closes chip bags and dog food bags and it's really sharp and I use that to pull the bottom of my jeans. And I really like the effect it gave. Sometimes it pulled a bit too hard and I got one slit up my shorts, but I still really liked it. Overall, my favorite thing to use is just a pair of tweezers. I actually stick them in the shorts and just pull completely to give a lot of fray. Here I'm just pulling the ends, but I would actually just like force it in the jeans. If you want to create like a little white loop of fabric at the end, you would just take your tweezers and pull the white little strips out of the ends of the pants and just hook them on your finger to hold them and just repeat. So these are my shorts after about 30 minutes of fraying and these are where I want to put the rips in the shorts. Just these four little spots here. So you're just going to take your scissors and you're going to create little slits in your jeans. So like, if you want one big little rip 
you're gonna take your scissors and make a big slit and on the other side a big slit. Next, you're gonna take your scissors and just fray the ends of the slit. To make the rip white, you're gonna take your tweezers and you're gonna pull out all the little blue um, pieces of fabric out of your slit part, if that makes sense. For my next slit, I wanna put it right beside the pocket. But make sure you don't actually cut the pocket because you definitely wanna keep the so this turned out to be the overall look of the pants and uh, shorts actually. I was uh, really happy with them. I'm still not sure if I should stud them, but taking that into consideration. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, watch my other videos. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I know I look like poo in a hole today. And sorry, I really need a new camera. I really need a better place to film because the lighting is horrible. So the camera quality and everything is absolute, absolute crap. I know, I admit to it. But I promise I will be getting a new camera soon. And yeah, I think that's everything. Thanks for watching, guys.